Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a tool, or well, maybe not a tool, maybe more of an approach or a process um, when it comes to working with a large number of points, make that process a little bit easier for us to manage. So let me explain. I've got a project that I'm currently working on. I've got folks that are going out collecting data in the field. They're collecting data in you know, large parcels, um, different swaths, different days. I'm going to start to bring some of that data in to my project to look at as points. And right now, those, uh, those points are in an ASCII text file. All right, so the situation that I'm in is depending on how much has been collected. The number of points could be fairly extreme. And the area that they're working with may not be 100% obvious to me at the time that I'm bringing them in. So rather than bring everything in to begin with, I'd like to maybe have a quick way that I can determine what area is represented by each point file. So for example, let's do this. I'll bring some points in from a file. We'll go out and select the entire file here. And this in itself is my representation of a large file. There's about 30 or 40,000 points. So we select the file name, point number, northing, easting, uh, elevation, description, comma, delimited is the file format. We'll say OK, and then we can wait. And depending on the number of points, we may have to wait quite a while uh, for those points to be displayed on the screen. Uh, maybe only to find out that it's not the area that we're interested in. Maybe it's for a, a different part of the project. Maybe I'm interested in something up here and uh, the points that came in are something down here. All right, so in this case, I, I brought in a large number of points, but I really don't need all of those points to be able to identify specifically the area that I'm, I'm working with. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and undo. That will take those points out. Instead of bringing in all of the points, which once again, I didn't want to bring in, you know, half a million points or something like that so that, uh, you know, just to uh, indicate time, we use about 30 or 40,000. Let's instead break that down so that we can use a much larger point file and only bring in a small portion rather than the entire contents. And we're going to do that using some tools or some settings or features of a point file format. So if we come over under the settings tab in the tool space and we look at point file formats, I can expand that and we can come down and the point file format we used was point number, northing, easting, elevation, description, comma, delimited. I'm going to select that, right click and say copy to make a new version of that. I'm going to give it the name, we'll say PNEZD, and then, you know what, I might put in, I'll, I'll say 5,000 because that's the limit of the amount of points that I'm going to allow it to bring in. I could maybe say limited, I could have different variations of this for 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 points. You know, we can configure it a number of different ways. But I'm going to give it a name to indicate that it is, in fact, different than the original I created it from. From there, the area that I'm going to focus on in the point file format dialog box are these two checkboxes, read no more than and sample every. So I'm going to check the box that says read no more than, and I'm going to set that to 5,000 points. So as it reads that file in, even if there's 10 million points that are in that text file, once it hits 5,000 or whatever number of points I've set, that's it. It's not going to read any more in. It's going to stop and it's going to process the points and display them on the screen from there. Now, having said that, this is valuable in that it limits the file, but it maybe only is going to then show us points in one small portion of the project. In other words, maybe they started collecting in an area up here. Once we hit 5,000, that's it. It doesn't help us if the points were to continue to collect further down in the project. So that's what the sample every is for. We could say sample every, and I'm going to say every 25 points. So every 25th point is what's going to be brought in and processed and displayed for us on the screen. And these, obviously, like I said, we can configure them to whatever meets our needs. We could set up multiple versions of this and have uh, other, um, uh, other uh, ones indicated or listed in the list here as well for, uh, for the different file formats we might want to use. Let's go ahead. We'll leave the settings like that. We'll say OK. I will come in, then we'll say points from file. We didn't need to change anything else because the file format itself worked properly. The only thing we wanted to do was just limit the amount of points that were brought in. So we'll say mass points. I'm going to come down. We will select our new point file format that limits the number of points that are brought in. We'll click OK, and almost instantaneously we see all of the points brought in that meet that criteria. So I'm going to set that to 250 now. And we can see that, you know, very quickly, 
uh, I was able to determine without having to wait or have it process and grind through trying to bring all those points in, I can see the area of my project that is represented by what was collected in that text file. All right, a lot of different reasons we could use this. We could use it just to, you know, quickly verify the uh, the limits or the area that was collected. We could use it to decimate the points so that I don't need, you know, uh, two million points to get started with. We want to start with a smaller subset. Lots of reasons to do this and very helpful that we've got a tool within the settings here. We can go in and modify one of these point file um, formats to meet our needs and limit all of the points that would be brought in. So hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.